Yo, what's up, guys? It's the Mobile Game here. Welcome back to Fast Fantasy Analysis and Suggestions of Trades, powered by Yahoo Sports. I'm your host, Mag, and this is your weekly podcast where I run down my league and how that can apply to your fantasy league. And basically, I don't know, help you win games. Trying to show off some of the sleepers of this week's um, trade or whatever. So this is week six. Um, anyways, uh, if you uh, if you didn't watch last week's video, I don't blame you. It was like 18 minutes long. Only like one person watched it. I'm gonna try to make this as short as I can, but also as informative as I can. So first things first, off with my team. Look at this beast, Jarek McKinnon. I am surprised. Look at look how much he jumped. He went from like a little under than what like 20%. No, he went from 24% to 82%. Why? Because he had a 20-point game, and that was because Dalvin Cook was out. And he did not disappoint. This week, he brought up a 19.9-point game. If this guy is still available in your league, I kind of doubt it. You definitely need to pick him up. Another running back, since we're on the subject of running backs, let's see if I can find this guy. Um, Here we go. Another great running back option is, of course, Adrian Peterson. Of course, he did just have one good game, so I wouldn't base it off that. But he did have a lot of promise. It seems like Arizona is a much better fit for him than, uh, I, I believe, it was New Orleans. Um, if you need another running back, uh, I don't know. Let's see who's available in my league um, for, uh, running backs-wise. Let's um, Isaiah Crowell looks like someone just dropped him. Yeah, I wouldn't really take Isaiah Crowell. Uh, let's look up the transaction trends. We got M. Breda. Oh, Brett Hundley, but that's just because um everybody picked him up because um Rogers. Um Rogers was injured today. Kind of sad. Jamal Charles, interesting. Um, I don't know why. Yeah, yeah, no, he sucks. Um, he had one big game. I'm trying to think of other decent running backs that you could pick up if you need a running back. Uh, let's just go through the teams. We got. Uh, oh yeah, Melvin Gordon. I think. Uh, he's just such a beast. Yeah, no one. He's not gonna be available. Uh, oh yeah, Devontae Freeman's always a good option, but uh, he's not available either. I'm just, yeah, I'm just gonna run down the teams looking for some good running backs for you guys. Marshawn Lynch, not really. Ooh, Doug Martin. Okay, maybe Doug Martin might be available. He seems like a solid pick. But yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Kind of like go down your league, try to make some good trades and stuff. Uh, just looking for those running backs that seem like they had one big game. Go ahead and pick them up. Worst things worse. Um, it was they're just one hit wonders, and you drop them next game. But you know you don't want to lose the opportunity when you could have picked them up. Um, anyways, um, kind of odd, but we're going at the tight end. Only reason is because I'm going to show off one of the most sleeper tight ends, and that is your boy Evan Ingram. And I'm I'm actually really stupid because I actually dropped them from my team. I mean, and who would blame me from dropping? Look. Other than this is the short performance, he had 0, 6, 4.5. It was very dismal performances. I was not satisfied. Then he comes back this week with a solid 10-point performance. And remember, that's because all of uh, New England's um, receiving core is just gone. Giants season is down the drain. But, yeah, let's. Uh, I wish you could search by um, teams in this because... I would just recommend, like, look at all these Giants players that are um, getting uh, picked up. Let's look at the wide receiver, and let's just see how many Giants players are still available. Because Eli Manning only has so many receivers. So, um, any Giants players that pop up here, I might go ahead and pick one. Like, this guy, T. King. Like, you might as well pick him up, right? Because he, you know, this guy's like practice squad. But after four receivers are gone, look at this. Um, Travis Rudolph. Let's look at, let's see if Travis Rudolph is available. Um, so yeah, this is what, this is kind of what I do. Um, here we go. Um, Travis Rudolph, uh, he's not getting anything, so he sucks as well. But these Giants, um, receiving court, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna get a lot of targets. So, and not anybody's picked them as you saw. So, I mean, Evan Ingram, definitely go pick him up. Also, another big one is Cameron. Oh, there it is. Cameron Bright. If you, um, need tight end. Um, he had a big performance, and he's he's had some solid double-digit performances. So if you, if um, your league still has him open, go ahead and pick him up too. Um, let's go back to my matchup, or my team, or whatever. Oh yeah, here's an amazing strategy. Don't play by position, play by team. For example, this guy. I mean, whose man's is this? Like, look at that face. But like, um, I mean, he's on the Texans. And Deshaun Watson actually has just been balling out. Let's see, let's see on Deshaun Watson how um 
you, I mean, have you seen the amount of points he puts up? Oh my gosh, the amount of points he puts up makes me want to, like, three touchdowns. Oh my god, his stats are insane. 17, 20, 33, 35, 20. Oh my gosh. So, anyone on Houston, you already know they're going to get some targets just because they score so many points per game. So, that's why I picked up Will for the fifth. You know what happened after he came back from his injury? Already an elite receiver. The first three weeks, um, uh, you know, he was injured. He came back from his injury, so I picked him up. 15, 18, 12. That's what I'm talking about. Ryan, uh, Ryan Griffin, look at that. Who is this nobody tight end? He somehow scores seven points for me. Seven points is better than no points. That's why I picked him up. Also, people from the Eagles, like even Alshon Jeffrey, like I know he's a great receiver, but just a dismal year. I mean, average, average stats, nothing special, but you know, Eagles. So, I mean, that's what I'm talking about. Just Eagles. Wait, what transactions do I have? Oh yeah, I'm just making trades. Um, let's move on to, so we got receiver. Okay, so I guess quarterback, I guess. Carson Palmer had a big day today. Very happy with him. Carson Palmer, if you haven't picked him up, I mean, he's a solid quarterback for me. Uh, definitely don't rely on him for all your points. Eh, just average. I mean, for quarterback, I really want someone who's going to score like 20 or 25 every time. But I can't really complain. If you haven't picked him up and you still need a quarterback, Mitch Trubisky is pretty much your best bet. I mean, he's starting for um, the Bears. No one has him. I feel like, I don't know. He has average stats, but rookie quarterback, what can you say? Um, I think, isn't Teddy Bridgewater? Yeah, Teddy Bridgewater is apparently going to be able to be fighting for um, a spot. So you could potentially, um, what is P? I have no idea. Um, but yeah, but apparently Bridgewater might come back next week. So I would, I might go ahead and pick him up potentially. I'm not really sure, but yeah, I might potentially pick up Teddy Bridgewater. Um, that's definitely a consideration because, you know, it's a quarterback. And if you need a quarterback and he's going to come back and he could be electric, we don't know. Um, let's go on to kickers. Ooh, I got some good kickers. Um, sleeper kicker is Jake Elliott. I think I talked about him last week. I think someone picked him up, though. Oh, that sucks. Wow, you went down 10%. What is happening? Because... Think about it. Eagles score a lot. If they score a lot, they have to kick a lot of extra points. 2 for 2 PAT extra uh, points. You know, PATs is where kickers get the bulk of their points anyways. So that's what I'm talking about. It seems like um, the 50 plus... Like, yeah, he's had a bunch of 50 plus field goals, which is what you want to see. Uh, I'm just going to search up uh, kickers. I don't want available. I just want to search up all kickers. But Nick Novak, uh, I think he sucks. Whatever, he's alright. But see, like... Um, you want to, yeah, you definitely want to make sure you get kickers on teams that score a lot. Another team that scores a lot is the Houston. So who's the Houston kicker? Isn't it like Kai Forbath or something? That's Minnesota. Houston kicker. Who kicks for Houston? Uh, okay, screw it. We're just going to go into everybody's, um, everybody's team until we find this Houston kicker. Football Freaks. And he has, um, Matt Prater, not Houston. House of Pain. A Butker. Oh, yeah, H. Butker is a... I think he had a big day today. Yeah, there's a lot of scoring today. Oh, yeah, a Kai Fairbond or K. I, I was close enough. Looks like he only had six today. But look at that. He had like 16, 18 just because... Six PATs. That's insane. Today, I guess he had only had two. And he didn't need to kick field goals. If um you need a kicker and this guy's available, Kai me Fairbond. That's a beast. You know, um, Eagles kicker, Houston kicker. You know what I'm talking about. You want to pick those teams that are on the up. And because when they score, your kicker scores. Finally, we're on to defense. Glad this video is a little shorter than it normally is. Um, on to defenses. I'm pretty sure the big defense was Chicago. Chicago played really well today. 21 points today, 15 points. They had a horrible game against Green Bay, but I mean, it's Green Bay. And that was when they had A-Rod. Another 15 points. I think I try, I'm going to try to pick up the Chicago defense. Hopefully, I get it. Also, New Orleans had an insane 42 fan points. Oh my gosh. Even though they allowed all those points. Ooh, it looks like they've had some big... Maybe I should pick up the Saints. I don't know. Uh, well, they're playing Green Bay and it's Brent Hudley. Maybe I'll pick up... Maybe I'll pick up the Saints defense. But, um, look at that. Three interceptions, three touchdowns. 42 points from your defense. That is insane. Oh, I really... I think I should. Because I think I'm trying to pick up the the bears but i think i should pick up the saints i'm gonna go ahead and do it um so first off i need to 
go to my team. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, defense, I mean, you're gonna win, you're gonna lose. Just pick up a team that you know is gonna be playing, like, that gets us all 10 points. Just scout around. Uh, just go to that game log, that trusty game log. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this. Because I feel like someone else is gonna try to um, take Chicago defense. So, I'm gonna try to pick up the New Orleans defense and see if I can get this. Um... Because my Green Bay defense has been, it's been alright, you know, nothing special. But I really need that special defense, and I think New Orleans might be the defense that delivers. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you like this video, and you want to see more videos like it. If you do, comment down below, go subscribe, go like. This has been your weekly podcast. Fast fantasy analysis and suggestions of trades with your host, Mag. Powered, of course, by Yahoo Sports. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys learned something, and I'll see you all next video.